Climate change is a global phenomenon that has garnered significant attention due to its far-reaching impacts on the environment, ecosystems, and human societies. The increasing concentration of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, in the atmosphere is leading to a rise in global temperatures, resulting in various adverse effects. The Industrial Revolution and the subsequent growth of industries and transportation have significantly contributed to the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial processes have intensified the greenhouse effect, trapping heat and leading to the warming of the planet. Ozone layer depletion has become a significant environmental concern and a global challenge. The ozone layer, a region of high concentration of ozone molecules in the Earth's stratosphere, plays a vital role in protecting life on our planet from harmful ultraviolet radiation. However, over the past few decades, the ozone layer has been depleting at an alarming rate. It is primarily located in the Earth's stratosphere, approximately 10 to 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface and acts as a shield, absorbing most of the sun's harmful UVB and UVC radiation. The ozone molecules in the stratosphere are formed through a complex series of chemical reactions involving oxygen molecules. The primary cause of ozone layer depletion is the release of certain human-made chemicals known as ozone-depleting substances, ODS. The most well-known ODS are chlorofluorocarbons, which were extensively used in aerosol propellants, refrigeration systems, and foam-blowing agents. When released into the atmosphere, these chemicals reach the stratosphere and break down ozone molecules, leading to the thinning of the ozone layer. The depletion of the ozone layer has serious implications for both human health and the environment. Increased ultraviolet radiation reaching the Earth's surface poses risks such as skin cancer, cataracts, and weakened immune systems in humans. It also affects marine life, disrupts ecosystems, reduces crop yields, and damages phytoplankton, which plays a vital role in the food chain. The Montreal Protocol, signed in 1987, aimed to phase out the production and consumption of ozone-depleting substances. Through the protocol's implementation, significant progress has been made in reducing ODS emissions, leading to the gradual recovery of the ozone layer. Despite the success, challenges persist in fully restoring the ozone layer. Some ozone-depleting substances have long atmospheric lifetimes, and the existence of stockpiles and illegal production continues to pose threats. Additionally, emerging substances, such as hydrofluorocarbons, used as replacements for chlorofluorocarbons, contribute to climate change. Balancing the phase out of ODS with climate considerations remains a complex task. The depletion of the ozone layer is a critical environmental issue with far-reaching consequences. While significant strides have been made in curbing ozone-depleting substances and facilitating the recovery of the ozone layer, continued efforts and global cooperation are essential. Raising awareness, adopting sustainable alternatives, and implementing effective policies are key to ensuring the protection and preservation of the ozone layer for the well-being of our planet.